Well, I will start. Um, so, hi everyone. Um, my name is Arthur Clergeon. I'm working uh, in France, Grenoble, uh, at CEA. Um, and I would like to share with you uh, today, um, let's say, an experience with energy modeling and how it enable to, how it can enable to enhance the understanding of the energy system. So, um, the method and results I'm presenting you are based on a French case study which is the following. So here you can see the French electricity consumption for one year center on the winter. And um, <clears throat> so we see that in France, we have um, that most of the uh, seasonal flexibility, uh, the season sc seasonal scale is due to heating. Um, so which is blue here. And this seasonal variability is actually called to grow uh, in France and in many, in, in many countries in Europe. Um, and so one of the questions we can wonder is how to provide this seasonal flexibility. And this is the purpose of the model I'm presenting you here. So um, uh, this is a kind of a classic linear programming capacity investment model um, with on top uh, the electricity system, which is coupled through a heat pump to the, to the heat system. Um, the electricity load uh, is assumed to be constant at the seasonal scale because all its variability has been um, reported on the heat demand. And so what we are wondering is what's the best strategy to fulfill this seasonal heat demand. Um, so there is different strategy. It can either come from directly from the gas production or from the electricity through the, through the heat pump. It can also go by the thermal storage and even come from both gas and electricity. So I'm presenting you here uh, some Ooh, some results where we're varying uh, both electricity and gas uh, prices. And we observe that when the electricity cost is rather high, then we use only gas. Uh, or when electricity is cheap, we'll use only electricity in middle both. And uh, at some point, we can also use thermal storage uh, and electricity. Um, so Today, I mean, before the Ukrainian crisis, the costs were here. And what's very interesting is to see that we managed to uh, determine the relevance area of uh, the use of technologies. And, um, and that it also enabled to determine what will be the effect uh, on some financial incentives. And for instance, with the CO2 tax of 100 euro per ton, then we will move from using electricity and gas to only electricity and the thermal storage. Um, so what should, uh, yeah, I will just raise your attention on this, the fact that here with a quite a simple model, we managed to really uh, understand uh, and determine trade-off break-evens between technologies. And then, then building up something more complex, we will see how this uh, graph evolves. And so it's raising the point of the complexity of the models we develop and what we can understand with them. So I think it's now over for me, but I will be really happy to discuss it with you afterward. Thank you very much.